business card creator. And when this product launches, we're going to see a screen that says create new logos or create new artwork, or you can go to an, the admin area and create your own. For now, we're going to check out some of the templates. So let's go to the new area. Here's where you can put in your company name, the slogan, your business name, that kind of thing. And once you type all this in, you're going to say next. And now you're presented with different thumbnails. When I click on the thumbnail, you'll notice the image appears here. Now, these logos I created with the logo creator, these can be deleted and you can put your own logo in it. These are just the template placeholders for now to show you that the logo creator can be used with the business card creator. So we have over 95 matching sets to choose from. For example, there's postcards, there's a business card, and then there's the, the letterhead section. Um, and you can scroll through these. <clears throat> but for now, we're going to pick a nice, a nice template like, let's do this one. This is a nice one because we can put our logo right here. So we'll hit next. And then you'll notice that it's going to create, uh, it's going to render the business card, the letterhead, and the postcard section. So let's give it a couple seconds here. And you'll notice we have our card. And we have a placeholder logo here. Since we don't really want the placeholder logo, obviously, we're going to simply clo close it out by hitting that red X button. Now you can import your own images. There are built-in graphics. For example, um, you know these are just all placeholder logos that you can, you know, ideas that that you can create. You can make it bigger. You can actually rotate the logo if you want to, you know, however you want. But we don't want that one. We want to use the one that we just made with the logo creator. So we're going to go into my images. And we're going to import our image. And we're going to look on the desktop is where I saved it under, here it is, very nice logo PNG. And we hit select. And it pops up right here in the thumbnails. I double click it. And here it is. Uh, and the cool thing about the business card creator is that you can actually, you remember the beginning screen where we could type in our name and our address? We don't have to do it there. We could actually just double click the lines here and say my address. And everything here is like like everything in the logo creator or in Laughing software modifiable. You can make it bigger and we double click it and we can change the color by going to the text tools. And we don't want green, it's hard to see. We want white or whatever. And here's your company name. Uh, my address, that's silly. We don't want my address. We want my company. And we can have a slogan here if we want to. Instead of company name, we can name this. It's our slogan. It is very nice. So we have my company is very nice. And we can make this bigger. Boom, boom. And line it up there. And make this logo bigger. And there is our card. All this other stuff, obviously, you can you can do on your own. So here's our address. Here's our telephone number. Or another address. Whatever you know, whatever we want to do. And you can change the color. You can change the font style by going over here to the to the font. Everything is modifiable. You just have to kind of play with it and push buttons. Really easy. When we finally get what we want, we can export it, or we can print it on our own printer, but what I like to do is print online. Laughing Bird Software has partnered with Vistaprint.com, and Vistaprint is an awesome, it's an awesome printing company. Um, and basically what Vistaprint does for like 16 bucks, uh, it'll print 250 full color cards for you and ship them right to your door. You don't have to go to a designer, you don't have to get them CMYK color separated. You just take what, you, what, you, what you've made and you can print it online. So let's click there. And the first thing the software is going to do it when you click on print online is ask you to save your file. So we're going to call this very nice card. And we'll save this to our desktop. Save it. And you'll notice it, it, it saved it to my desktop right here as the card. So we're, when I hit continue, 
it launches the browser, launches Vistaprint, and it comes right to our online print shop. And watch how easy this is. Here's a button that says choose the file. So I click the choose the file button and it calls my desktop up and I'm going to hit the very nice card image and it uploads it and you can see a view you can see a preview of it here's the card it's a pretty grainy preview but you got the idea I mean it, it looks nicer when it's printed um, and you continue with the steps on the Vistaprint site and we don't want a back card for back side right now Once it's all done, you say, I have read the statements, and I agree to everything, and they probably will have you log in to, the, to you know, get an account here. It's free. Everything's all free to set up. Um, and the cards, let's hit continue for now. And the cards will eventually run you about 16 to 19 bucks. And again, it's 250 cards, um, full color cards, and they're shipped to your door. I don't even have to get out of my chair. It's, it's super awesome. Love it. That's how easy it is. And then you just have to wait for your cards. It takes about two days to get your cards back. So if you're hitting a trade show or something <clears throat> within the week, you can have your cards, create your cards, and have them done. But that, basically, in a nutshell, is, is as easy as it is. Let's go back to the logo creator. We're going to create an animated logo with this now.